In this one, we're looking at my next 3D model, my next 3D illustration of an anomaly that I've found at a site west of Koblenz in a region called Ahonia Terra. The lovely Miss Michelle joins us in the background for this one. Hello, everyone. Right, the photograph, crater floor in Ikaria Planum. This was acquired on the 14th of March, 2017 at a resolution of 49.5 centimeters per pixel. I cropped the image I'll be showing you from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the low res black and white of the terrain. So the sites of here folks, west of Koblenz at roughly 51 degrees, 53 minutes south, 102 degrees, 11 minutes west. So let's zoom in on the anomaly folks, it's at the bottom center of this photograph and it's about 6 to 8 meters across. Let's take a close up look. It's got this strange dome shape to it atop what appears to be a raised area, almost like a lid. You can definitely see the shadow it casts. And then this to me looks open, folks. Check out the disc shape there in the opening. And according to the shadow length and the elevation angle that NASA gives in this photograph, this anomaly is about three and a half meters tall. And that there is about two meters high, that opening there. So let's have a look at the model. Before we do that, I thought I'd put this in as well. This is a similar type of spherical object, dome-shaped object with multiple layers on it. Let's see if these are recessed areas too. This is at a site east of Newcomb. So there's a top view what I think we're looking at. It's about six to eight meters across and there's the original top-down view of this anomaly as photographed by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I've included the astronauts for scale They're about two meters tall. And there's a side view of what I speculate this might be. Don't know what it is folks. Looks like this is like a vent or a lid. Don't know what the use of that this shaped object is. Let me know in the comments below what you think this might be. Is it just natural wind erosion, water erosion that causes these odd anomalies or is there some symmetry and geometry to this object. I would argue, yes, there is some symmetry and geometry to it. And it was Carl Sagan who once said, if you're looking for intelligent life elsewhere in the universe, look for geometry and symmetry. Right, let's zoom down to that site in this area called Ionia Terra. So let's have a look at the anomaly and some of the others that I found in this photograph. It's remarkable how many of these anomalies there are with these small parts in their centers. There's the one we just looked at. looks like an opening under that part there. So the question remains, is this an object of intelligent design and manufacture? 
Take care, everybody, Michelle, and I will see you in the next one soon. Ciao for now.